we are just doing something that is barely this side of science fiction. Jason Ballard and his 20-person company Icon print 3D houses. The technology is so promising that they've already raised $9 million from Silicon Valley. But Jason started off with little to no experience. I'm not an engineer. Uh, and so I did what all entrepreneurs do. I bought every book on Amazon on 3D printing. I went and took a class at the local tech shop on 3D printing and just started tinkering on nights and weekends. And so we built like a hundred square foot, 10 by 10 prototype, um, mostly out of wood. And we would go over there like after my kids' soccer games on a Saturday. And so like my daughter and son are like in soccer uniform helping us like screw and build the thing. Ballard was actually on track to become a priest, but at the advice of a bishop, he decided to change course. He predicts that the technology could save the world billions in construction costs, and his priority is homelessness. There are like real human lives hanging in the balance of this technology, and I hope I don't have some kind of strange savior complex, but, but that's what it feels like. like. We have got to do this because people are suffering and this technology can reduce suffering in the world. Within a couple months of completing the first house, the company had over one million requested units, including from NASA and the U.S. military. But the technology is a long way off from being ready. The world sort of expects 3D printing to just work at this point. Uh, we've gotten angry emails from people that are like, there are homeless veterans over here, and like, when are you guys gonna come to my market? Why haven't you responded to my email yet? And it's like, we still, any investors who are watching this video, we still don't have everything figured out. It's the complex coordination of gigantic robots which have to function outdoors in the wind and rain and the sun and the heat. You then have to have software to control, like bespoke software. There are no off-the-shelf software systems. And then you have to lay in the material science, right? The materials that do what we need them to do don't exist. And so. You don't just have to invent one thing, you have to invent a number of things and then make them work in concert. With only two houses under their belt, Jason and his team have already headed to Central America, where they're currently attempting to print 50 houses. It will be a true test of the new 30 foot by 30 foot printer, with many parties eagerly awaiting the results. I have the imposter syndrome sometimes, like, Am I the right guy for this? Am I the guy to solve homelessness or affordability or print a home on another world? Uh, and the temptation is to trim the sails a little bit and sort of like downplay the possibility. And what I want to try to do is to live with that reality, that possibility in front of my eyes, because that's what's going to keep me at this for the years and years and years it's going to take to happen. So I think it's that kind of technology and we're going to have to go on that kind of journey. And so, here we go.